concept cartoon is a cartoon style drawing of characters having an argument about an everyday situation. Each character is giving a different plausible viewpoint and each viewpoint and at least one of the viewpoints will contain a common misconception. The stimulus that we used was a concept cartoon. Um, we used concept cartoons to, to stimulate the talk, to give them lots of different options, lots of different problems in order to um, get them working together, to hear their ideas, um, to give them a talking point and a starting point. And as well, it's a good assessment for learning tool because it helps you gauge um, what they already know and um, kind of any misconceptions that they may have. To get us started, what you have got in front of you is a concept cartoon and it's all to do with bubbles so what i want you to do in your pairs or your three is to discuss which statement do you think is correct and why because when you put it into water and mix it around the bubbles start to rise so it's like they just blow up like yeah, and also I think it's that one because like the bubbles can't really be gas. No, it's like no, because bubbles yeah, are warm. Yeah, no. Yeah. And if you want the only warm, if you add hot water, like yes. A bubble isn't just a bit of gas because it's. That should be It gets them involved within the lesson, it it immerses them in, in the learning. Um, it gives them opportunity to share their ideas and to voice their opinions in a safe and secure environment. You know, it's okay to get things wrong, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it, that's your opinion, that's what you think, and as long as there's a justification for that, that's okay. And as well as that, it, it helps them bounce ideas off each other. So it lets them hear what other people have got to say and gives them opportunity to change their opinions or to add to their opinions and develop their own understanding. So we've been working with some true skincare for quite a while, haven't we? So we didn't like the tester we got the other day, so they want you to help them make a better one. All right, theirs wasn't very successful. So as well as it not being too thick or too thin, it also needs to make a good foam. So the bubble bath needs to be a good viscosity, needs to make foam that lasts. So what I want you to do now is I want you to think about these four things here. In your pairs or your threes, I would like you to come up with a plan of what you're going to do and why. So how are you going to approach this problem? Can you put right, with how much water? Yeah. Do you want to put a bit Fifty or twenty five minutes. Good luck. 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 Which will make it look good. Oh, no, the gel will make it look good as well. Yeah, and smell yeah. good as well. So them two put together, put mix, mix when both of these items are put in. You know, when they're solving a problem, they do work together and they have strategies for independent learning. And one of them is to, to have discussions and, and to work with a buddy. So I think it's, it's behaviours that are embedded across the school. They're learning behaviours that are embedded across the school. And I think that's why the children do it naturally and they see it as a tool. So, for example, the year fives when they were working, then Robbie said something that perhaps wasn't quite right and Kyla had the confidence to go in and say, I'm not so sure about that. No, this wasn't right. Remember, we found this out. And they're used to doing that and they know it's acceptable. So we need to make it thicker. Yeah, so I think we can make sure the bubbles are not there. Yeah, that's all in to reduce the amount of it coming up here, yeah. I think we could have added yeah. more bubble bath because the bubble bath is really short. Yeah, the bubble bath is what it was made of. So if we needed more of that, it would have been all about here. I'm going to write it. But it did. Using tools such as concept cartoons and for the talk, it allows them to think more widely. You're not putting a ceiling on what they can learn because actually they can take it wherever they want to take it. and they're driving that learning forwards, they're
driving the direction they take it in, they're driving the conversation, they're driving their own questioning between each other. And I think sometimes you can limit where a child gets to in terms of your question or the activity that you give them, but using something like concept cartoon, a problem-based concept, and allowing them to talk and to work together allows them to move themselves and each other forward. Concept cartoons are a really good way of engaging the children um, and getting them talking. The, the text is really minimal um, and it's in dialogue form. So even learners who struggle with their reading or have maybe English as an additional language can still readily engage with the concept cartoons. Learners using a concept cartoon are actually agreeing with a character's statement, not actually having to generate their own idea makes them a lot less threatening to use. You know, you're not putting your idea out there to be right or to be wrong. You're simply agreeing with the statement that's already there and it's a much safer way of getting your ideas across.